stop, go, yellow, I hate yellow lights, ah, okay, so what I'm going to show you here, is what I'm going to attempt to pull here over in Lake City, I thought it'd be cool to have traffic lights, I don't know why, uh, I don't have a whole lot of uh, other animation, other than, you know, street lights, and building lights, and yard lights, and yeah, yeah, okay, uh, I thought it'd be kind of neat to have traffic lights that kind of sequence through, you know, red, yellow, green, and, uh, okay, so what I did, I decided to go with these, um, it's a set of four that I bought on eBay from a seller called We Honest. Um, they have items that ship both from China, China or Hong Kong, I think mainland China, I think, or from the west coast of the United States. I picked these because they're from the west coast of the United States. They make several different varieties. Um, I chose the ones, obviously, with the double lights here. They make one with a light here and a light here. They make single ones. So they make a variety of them. Just go to just go to eBay and, lo and look for the seller We Honest. I like their stuff. Um, it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, it ships quickly out of the, the U.S. and the West Coast. I had these in less than a week. Um, they're LEDs. They Everything I bought from these guys seems to work okay. Now, I'm not saying these are 100% particularly accurate, especially for the mid-1950s. I don't know. I don't care. They're going to work. It, it's, it's good enough for me. The one thing I did do is paint them, but I'll show you that in, in the next segment. All right, so you get a set of these of four. I forget for how much. I don't know. It might be $16, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't terribly expensive. Um... You can see how they're how they're how they're made here. The one thing that's interesting is the wires. They're, they're wired common anode, by the way. So there's one common. That's the positive, the anode, which is the black wire. Which is I can't do this and hold the. <laughs> Trust me, it's the black wire. Because the first thing I did was test all these using the Logic Rail Technologies signal tester. There's, they have these little connectors on the end. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's to interface with their traffic light sequencer, which they do sell. Okay. Um, I'm cutting them off, and I'll show you why in a moment. But just be aware that that's the type of connector that's on them. I'm going to zoom in and focus on that. Eh, that's not going to focus. Come on, buddy. Anyway, they're like little pin connectors. Okay, not the end of the world. I decided again. I cut them off. Um, as I mentioned, it's, they're wired common anode. The you can see how they're constructed. If I can get this one, this is because the <laughs> you'll notice I was I was getting this one out, getting ready to test it, and the yellow signal encasing fell off. I was like, oh rats! I just broke it. Well, actually no, it just kind of popped off, and they'll go right back on again. And thinking about it, since I am painting these. It really would be nice if they all came off easily. Because then I could have taken this little bad boy, you know, taped it down to some cardboard, taken it out to the garage, and spray painted it. Anyway. But I'm not going to sit there and try to pry all of these off, because I'll just wind up breaking them. So, um, you can see the color. It's kind of a light gray color for the support. You know, is that the right color? Yeah, because you paint aluminum, sure. Um... Just kind of depends what your prototype is, what you want to do with it. But overall, pretty nice. Again, I tested all of these. They all work. LEDs are nice and bright. Um, maybe too bright. I don't know if I want to try to tone it down or not. But All right, so those are the lights. You know, the, and again, you, gotta, you get a set of four. Now, to control them, what I decided to do was up here. Let me get this guy out of the way here. All right, from a company called I think it's pronounced Galak, 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 Galak. I don't know. Galak Electronics. It's a VG 303B dual traffic light controller. Basically, you, you control two sets of lights, you know, like a north a north south set would go on one side, the east west set on the other, and you can go up to um, 800 milliamps per output. So basically, the red output on the north, for example, say, you know, the red output on the north, 800 milliamps. Well, you, you can put quite a few signals in parallel if you wanted to. And I'm going to be putting 
basically four LEDs for each light in parallel. Because, you know, I have one here that'll be the, the north and south, two LEDs each, so four total. So roughly, what do you think, they're 20 milliamps? So 20, 40, 60, 80, maybe 80 milliamps? Not a problem. So that should not be an issue whatsoever. So I bought this board. That's the instructions for it. You don't get a lot of instructions, but it works pretty much the way it's supposed to. Here is the board. Uh, let's see if I can show if I can show this any better. So I'm going to slide around a little bit, but and it's tiny, not yeah, not real big. Now I'm probably going to mount it on something like this. Again, I had these out for testing because I ran one of the lights through the sequence already. So it works. It works off AC or DC. That's going to keep sliding on me. <laughs> I don't have anything I can lay on there to hold it up, and I'm probably not even focusing on it too well with the camera. Um, DC or AC, I'll use 12 volts DC. Again, these are the basically the, the two sets, like a north, south, east, west set. This is a resistor that you change, and it really does vary the, the sequence. I'll show the sequence later on. But if you go to the, all the way full counterclockwise, it's the fastest. If you go all the way, you know, clockwise, it's the slowest. I had it all the way, and I got tired of waiting. So <laughs> I turned it just a little bit, and I'm at about roughly 25 seconds per sequence. Um, you know, 25 seconds for the green. It goes to yellow for about 4 seconds, which you can control by this push button here. Uh, I think from 3 seconds to 8 seconds, you just got to push it multiple times. Um, and then it goes red for about... 25 seconds so it's pretty good time but it's adjustable here your yellow is adjustable here there's different sequences you can go look at the instructions um, here for like different types of oh maybe I'll show that later on but anyway so that's the board I'm probably gonna mount it on something like this bring the outputs out to some terminal boards for the way I'm gonna wire it maybe I'll, I'll try to show you my chicken scratch for what I'm gonna do but not bad now this is $20 $19.99 I bought it at Amazon it's also available, same company, has an eBay store, same price, $19.99. Well, guess what happened? Two days after I bought it, it went on sale on eBay for $15.99. So I don't know if it still is on sale, but <laughs> something to consider. Uh, so it works. It seems to work just fine. So I think it'll, it'll be good to go. So, All right, so let me just kind of, well, let me try to show you this here. All right, so that's my little board. This will probably just be chicken scratch. I probably won't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might not even be legible. But basically what I'm going to try to do. <laughs> so you got a set of light. And you have two wires. Two reds, two greens, two yellows. And one black, which is the common. So I'm going to bring them down. And I already did this and it worked. I'm going to, I, I cut off the end of those little terminals. I so, And I soldered an extension wire. Because these are too short to go where I want to go. So I have some 20... Six, I think it's four conductor 26 gauge that I use for the CMR signaling. And I soldered basically the two reds, two greens, two yellows together to an extension wire. And they're color and they're color coded green, yellow, red, and black. So that's cool. So I brought them down. What I will do is bring them down to a terminal board. This is just the way I like to do it. I mean, maybe I'm a little bit anal about it, but probably an eight point. So I'll bring the, the two because I like to put uh, ring terminals on the end. So I'll bring the greens. Yellows, reds down the common from both sets will come to this, and then one wire will go back to this controller. So this this controller then will control both, you know, the east and the west and the north and the south. That's just the way I'm going to do it. You know, that's again, this is probably all chicken scratch, but just the way that I like to lay things out to think about how I want to do it and how I want to use it. You know, what kind of terminal board? I just prefer doing terminal boards and making things that way. Just the way I am. All right, so that's that. So then let me show you what I did for the one signal. I'm going to do the other three and then uh, move forward with this little project here. All right, so here's the one signal that I have modified the way I'm going to do it. You can see there, the signal heads there have been painted. Um, you know, looking at uh, pictures of a lot of signals in that era back in the mid-50s, they seem to be a black or a really kind of a darkish green color blackish green and I looked in the Pennsylvania manual 
know, traffic control devices or something like that for that era. And sure enough, they called me to be painted black or green. Well, all right, so I picked a color. I'm using Bronze Green by Vallejo 70.897. Eh, seemed to be a good color. It matched. I had it. Like I said, if I could have sprayed them, I would have the spray paint as well. But So that's what it looks like with them painted. Okay, looks good. I and mean, you can give me yellow too, but I'm sure yellow would be fine. Most of them are used to yellow because so most of them are, but they're not. Even nowadays, there's still some black and dark green ones. So then, like I said, I brought all the wires down. I have a four conductor, 26 gauge. And then I'm using four, I think it is, maybe it's 24, I don't know, whatever it is. I had it, I have a ton of it left over from the wiring of the signals. So I said, all right, I'm going to use this, it's a lot easier to handle. Um, I can, you know, I don't want to bring down two of each of these and try to get them down to another terminal board and run over to the board for the light controller. I was like, all right, forget it. I just took bit the bullet, soldered them together, they're all soldered in here. My big concern is I don't know if all this mess is going to fit in the hole that I got to drill for this. <laughs> so I might have to just drill a bigger hole and make some type of pad or a patch if they won't fit in the hole that'll fit that. Because, you know, otherwise the light will go falling through. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. To all four of them, I got one done. So what I'm going to do now is paint the other three, let that dry, and then do this to the other ones. Then at least I have all the lights done. And pretty much ready to roll and I can get them on to get them ready to go on the layout once I figure out how to drill the hole and what size hole and all that kind of fun stuff so all right so more to come when I get the all the lights done and ready when I get the uh, signal controller board mounted I'm gonna do it and I'll do that then maybe I'll go ahead and set one up and just show you the sequence uh, off the layout because I want to test it anyway before I mount everything so that'll be uh, the exciting next segment. Oh boy. Alright, so here's the board I made up. And I'm testing the lights now and I'll show you in a minute how I work, how they work. And how I have an issue with one of them. Story of my life. So you got I got the board mounted here. I put it on a piece of masonite. I have my 12 volts come in here. That'll just be to help guide it in. What I decided to do, of course you don't have to do this is I, I wanted to put some eight point terminal blocks I ran the connections from the traffic light controller out to that that being the common regular green on both of them and then these are tied together and this way I can bring in each pair so these here are the north south lights again each LED tied together brought down through one so each light which is a pair of lights <laughs> It's got a green, yellow, red, and a common. So that way I just got to bring them in under the layout, hook them up, and, that's, and I'm good to go. Yeah, you could just bring wires right into here, but I like under the layout to make it as easy as possible for myself. So I, I decided to do this. So now, so I got 12 volts in. I got everything hooked up. For, I'm going to run it here on the bench before I lug it over to the layout and hook everything up. And I have an interesting issue now. Right now, I'll go back a little bit here, and I'll try to make it a little bit darker. Let me just, just so you can kind of see the lights. All right, so you see the left there goes yellow, red, and the right's go green, okay? And as I say, it's about 25 seconds or so right now. That's adjustable through this trim pot right there. But the ones on the right here, which are my north-south lights, you can, you can trace them. Okay, then they go yellow. Boom. They're both red for a moment, and then these go green. And then it just cycles through. Now, when I first turned it on, the greens on this side were not working. I was like, what? I was like, did I do something wrong? Is, you know, did I make a bad solder joint? No. I've narrowed it down <laughs> to this particular signal there's something going on in there I think maybe the green wire is touching something else it's hard to see there's not a lot of wiggle room back there but when I move this around the green lights work and the way you can tell 
just FYI, let me just show you this. You see there on the board, and it's the top set there. Okay, right here. And you can see how the LEDs on the board also cycle green, yellow, red. Well, when I had the issue, this green LED stayed on. And then when I cycled to yellow, the yellow worked. The yellow LED came on, the green LED stayed on. So the board is thinking, you know, there's something flowing through the through the green, which makes me think a wire is touching somewhere. Now maybe it's inside the signal bracket itself, but it does work. The board works, doesn't seem to hurt the board. It just you can tell there's an issue because that green LED, you can see they're both on here now. And then when it cycles, you know, this light will go yellow. Okay, yellow, yellow, and it'll go red, red. But when I was having the issue, that green LED stayed on. Everything worked, except when it came to cycle through the greens for this this to be on, it wouldn't. It, it wasn't on. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'm thinking something was touching in there. And, and again, it wasn't actually this one. It's this one. Because what I did was I lifted, first of all, I lifted each signal by pulling off just the green wire. Well, first of all, I lifted the green wire from the board. And then, yep, that green LED goes off and, and it goes on and cycles fine. Okay, so I didn't damage the board. Good. Reattach the green wire from the board out to the terminal board, from the controller out to the terminal board, and then lift each of these two in, you know, in, in turn. And when I lifted the one that had this signal, everything went back to normal and worked. You know, the, the, these greens went fine. LED on the on the controller worked fine. Then I reattached this, this green, and oh, sure enough, that green LED goes on and stays on. And then I started fig, fiddling with it, you know, looking at the back, trying to move some wires. And again, obviously now it's working, but there's something going on with this signal, with this one right here. Now it's working, but what bothers me about that is you know, when you have intermittent issues like that and you put it on the layout, <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, great. Now, in all seriousness, this signal could be one that you're never going to see. Uh, and, by, and by that I mean, when I get it installed, I'll show you, I might use it for that one because I know what the issue is. And I can, I, I can always lift that green LED wire or actually the whole signal I really could not even wire it because it's going to be facing away from you if I put it in now of course you could walk around but you're really you know that's really going to be a hard to see signal in comparison to the other three which do not appear to have any issues so all right so we'll see I just want to show you that so show the board and of course like I said you know real world is uh never quite as rosy you know gumdrops and rainbows as you think and now there's something going on with one of my signals. When I tested them individually, they work fine. And I tested all this stuff before I soldered it, after I soldered it, before I hooked it up, and everything was working. And then I go, you know, actually physically attach them, turn the board on, and all the greens over here are not working. The board's cycling okay. The LEDs on the board are coming on okay. I was like, what the heck? Uh, so you want to be a model rarity, huh? But anyway, but now it seems to be working okay. Seems to be cycling. And they seem to be working. Now, what I'm afraid of, though, again, if I start moving this and filling with this light, it'll, it'll touch again. And you don't want intermittent solar down. It just, that's just a freaking disaster waiting to, not a disaster, it's just a freaking LED light, but it gets an annoyance waiting to happen. Let me put it that way, so. All right. So at least these work. I kind of like the timing. The yellow may be a tad long, but eh, whatever. All right. So with uh, one signal head issue, everything else seems to be working just fine. And the next step is to get everything over on the layout and get them installed. All right, more to come. All right, as a quick follow-up to the previous segment where I mentioned the issue with the one signal head. Here's the intersection that I'm considering putting this on. So I'm assuming we'd have one here for this traffic. You have to put one, I don't really like it, but one here.
with this traffic, all right? And then one here for this traffic, and then this one here facing that way for this traffic. Now this could be the one that if I have a known issue or a possible intermittent issue, it could be right here because you, you know, you're really not going to be able to see. Well, like, yeah, I guess if you came in here and you leaned in, and you looked over and said, "Hey, that light's not working." Ah, okay, now. Again, there's a risk, a pretty big risk, actually a very, very large risk in putting a light here and here right by the aisle. Because guaranteed, guaranteed, the first obsession, or my wife walks down here and it's going to be, it's going to be this, Elbow City. It's gonna, they're going to be trash. So what I would have to do, and I have it, put a piece of plexiglass there. To protect it so hopefully your elbow hits that not the lights so that's why you know i was a little like hmm do i even want to put these in i, I know they should be there you know, these two aren't as bad I, I think i still would put plexiglass up but they're a little harder to reach but when people get down here and talking and working and reaching the, you aren't thinking i've seen it a lot i got a lot of stuff broken on this layout during op sessions from people just it's just normal. It, and I'm not blaming. It just it just happens. It's just the way it is. So if I do put, you know, this one in and that one in, I'm gonna definitely have to put plexiglass there, which is doable. That's that's fine. I just I don't know. I I think of the trial. I don't really like doing it, but I have some. Uh, my buddy Bill Shop helped me. I have a piece that's not real big that would kind of fit in there pretty nice. I think so. That's what I mean when I said that if I put it anywhere, the one that I might have an issue with, make it this one facing that way. Because if the green light doesn't work, if I decide just to pull that one particular wire, so then both these greens won't work with the yellow and red do, eh, okay. It's not ideal. I should try, really try to fix that. But something like that, <laughs> if it's inside the tube, or something, you start making a, you know, mucking around, you might make it even worse than it is already. So, ah, we'll see. Anyway, but this is the intersection I'm thinking of using the mat. So, all right, more to come. Oh, boy. Okay, got them in. Yeah, they're right by the edge. <laughs> like I said, I do have a piece of plexiglass. So, I got them in. Um, the two in the back, or <laughs> a little further away, were fine. These two, what I had forgotten that I had done, was when I brought the, I think it was that whiteboard. <laughs> I had to go back and look at my video. It didn't come quite to the edge, so I had a piece of the, I think it was the 6 millimeter foam, it's sitting this way. Because I drilled the drill in, reached around, I didn't feel the hole. Well, it was there. It was just coming down just just to the inside of the foam so what I had to do was go under with a knife and just cut the foam out give a little bit of a slot feed the wires in I could pull them away just enough so they're in now next step is to get all wired up and hope they all work still they all worked on the bench even my friend the problem child what I noticed here on the end I was kind of fiddling with it and I put it in position and it seemed to work okay, so I said, all right, here's what I'm going to do, real quickly. I put a dab of super glue on it, painted it black, and it's been working. So I'm, I'm hoping. Now, I'm not going to glue these in. They're just sitting there. The holes are snug enough that they won't go anywhere, which also, in case I don't have the plexiglass on, may help if someone bumps them, but it is in. So... Now, the task at hand is to get it all wired up, go on a wing and a prayer, and hope it all works still. <laughs> and looking at this, I'm not sure I like the very top. See, it's kind of open there. I was looking like, do I have a little, I don't know, like a little ball or a finial or something I could put in there? I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with something. But, that's for a later date. So, for now... Hey, at least they're in. Look okay so far. Again, they were all tested literally about 10 minutes ago. So, 
hopefully nothing happened when I pulled the wires through so all right let's get it hooked up and fire it up and see if we have a traffic light well hot diggity do we got ourselves an intersection here and everything works oh <laughs> I shouldn't say that I just chink myself but all right so it's in it's temporarily I'll show you underneath wired because I wanted to test it first make sure everything works and everything appears to be cycling as intended I don't know how well this shows up on the video I don't know if I can get both lights at once we have the east west the north south so right now the east west are green now nope, they go yellow everything's red for a moment and then the north south go green so heh. and is my problem child okay looks like it right they got green lights I can't see them holding the camera with a gas station I don't want to break it okay oh man that's kind of fun so uh, oh, there it goes yellow everyone races and speeds up ah stop okay so things appear to be functioning quite nicely I don't know if I can get the perspective of an automobile waiting for that the light or actually he'd be buzzing through the light right now right I'm not sure if it's focused on there because I'm trying to sit and not hit a fire hydrant <laughs> now you speed up now you stop okay all right let's take a quick gander underneath and I'll show you the mess that it is right now but we're gonna now that it works now I can safely straighten it out. Oh, just one note. This switch, you're know, you going to point the camera at it, you moron. This switch controls the lights. So you may not always want them on. It's just, I said, you know what? I'll just put a switch out there so I can turn them off if it's so desired. So, all right, let's take a pop underneath and see what things look like. All right, this may not look that great because I had to really crank the ISO. And I'm reaching for a screwdriver so I can point. Ah! All right. So there's the board. And right now, you see the mess of the wires coming in. I wanted to get them in first. I was going to get them in and put my Panduit terminals on it. You know, make, cut them nice. And everything. So, well, wait, 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 wait a minute. What if there's a problem with one of the lights? And you got to cut it all off and pull it back out. So I said, it probably makes sense. Just hook them up now. Test everything. Make sure everything works and cycles and there's no issues with the problem child, etc., etc. And then away we go. So I have this kind of a mess right now. I did secure them coming down so they don't move. Because I'm worried about, you know, you don't want to put undue tension on those little itty bitty wires coming through. So this secures them here vertically. Now I can play with it. I can, you know, make the runs. I can do this without worrying about messing up those. So now what I'll do, now that I know it all works, come back in, I'll cut these to length, I'll make it look a lot nicer, a little more professional on the board there, but at least it works. So that's just a matter of getting the final runs done, secured, so they're not dangling like this. I, I will put the Panduit terminals on there to make it a, I, I just like to do that that way, so. But, whew, man, a damn thing works. Sometimes I amaze myself. All right, let's, let's pretty it up, and then uh, we'll call this done. All right, here's the board. Got a, man, it's cleaned up a little bit. I'm not saying it's perfect. Actually, the cable lengths could have been a hair longer, but whatever, I'm just going to redo it. So again, you know, the 12 volts comes in here from the switch on the facial. North-south lights, east-west lights. And then I just kind of secured the wire cables. Those are four conductor 24. And then they go up to the lights. So a little bit neater. And that's the way I like to do it. Just to, Again, I would have probably preferred to have this one be a little bit longer, come over, come down, make some nice right angles, but I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, that is that. So, uh, there's the board. 
hooked up, looking purdy, and the lights are cycling. Okay, so that wraps it up for the cycling traffic lights. You can see I did add my piece of protective plexiglass there in the front. I have to come back off, obviously, when I paint the fascia. And I probably need to sand these edges a little bit because they tend to be a little bit sharp. But then you will notice if you're getting too close to the lights. Okay, so that's it. Traffic lights for Lake City. Thanks for watching, and hopefully it was maybe a little bit helpful. All right, see you next time.